Okay. So, S&P 500. Let's do a little monthly slash weekly analysis for you. So, boom, 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 bam. All right. We got these highs locked in right up here. Okay. That is our obvious draw on liquidity on the high time frames. On the weekly, I thought, I thought that after this consolidation, we were going to come on down. That wasn't the case. We had Powell speak. And if you guys watched me on full port Friday, I got sucked and fucked to the upside. Now we're moving down. We're bearish on the four hour. We broke structure to the, to the downside right here. This might actually cause the weekly retrace that I wanted in the first place. This kind of looks like Wyckoff's method with consolidation, 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 spiky, wikey, drop top on the bends. Um, hourly, we're bearish as well. Overall, probably going to be bearish today. We have a draw on liquidity right here. That's probably going to get seeked out. After that, we have this draw on liquidity right here. And then after that, I would mainly be looking to go all the way down here, down to here, here. And again, still this imbalance kind of holds a lot of power for me where I want to see that imbalance get hit, filled, remove. Okay. Um, daily is bullish. Four hour and hourly are not. I would really just like to see a draw to here. We're still kind of stuck up in this consolidation type of thing. NASDAQ is looking more bearish than the S&P. And if we look at NASDAQ, it's way more obvious the consolidation that we were in last week, which if you guys traded bad last week, I know I didn't have the best trading week last week. Um, you know, just look at the market, right? What did the market do? We were consolidating and, you know, I have killed it the past two months, right? And we look and we see, okay, this is the majority month of November. And then we started trading bad once the consolidation started. But when was I trading really well? When we were trending down and when we were trending up. When we're in consolidation, that's typically going to be the weeks that you're having a losing week or a break even week or super low percentage gain week. But NASDAQ, similar situation here. Breaking structure to the downside on the four hour. Hourly, similar, similar situation in a downtrend. Draws on liquidity. Right here. Right here. And then we have this, this, and this. I don't really want to highlight those though. Um, and then obviously the imbalance. Same imbalance, similar to the S&P, that we want to see get filled. Um, We have no news today. Today is, uh, this week is NFP week. So that's something to think about. Okay, we have ISM services PMI and Jolt's job openings tomorrow. Um, if I'm being honest, I might try and avoid that. Um, and then on Wednesday, we have ADP non-farm employment change, which is happening like an hour and 15 minutes before market open. And then we have unemployment claims, which is happening an hour before market open. And then on Friday, we have all of this NFP action. So I will definitely not be trading on Friday. Okay. Let's go into the smaller time frames and try and see what else these charts are giving us. Right now, 
it's very apparent, lots of movement to the downside. Um, looks like we have infinite amount of imbalances within here right now. Um, just whole lot of empty space for price to climb back up on into. Um, this to me is the obvious imbalance spot right here where we see that big rip of a move down off this candlestick right here. I guess we can just highlight the five minute fair value gap. From that, um, that's pretty much what I see for now. Um, I would like to see a pullback. We're already making moves down. It's pretty obvious that we want to draw towards this liquidity. Um, Cause I don't really think that there's anything else within here, within this area that could cause price to just reverse up like there's no order block no fair value gap nothing it's just these lows that are kind of drawing us in so i think it's safe to say that this is going to be our magnet for the day um but yeah uh, i guess we'll kind of have to wait market opens in around 12 minutes we'll wait and see um where market goes off rip if it wants to sweep out these lows and then maybe turn around that's a possibility or if we you know open and then we rally up and then we want to fill in these we can go into the smaller time frame here and see what nasdaq's looking for similar situation here we have a big imbalance right here we have a decent size one right there um Man. Boom. Oh, okay. So we have two pretty big imbalances right there. I got to blow my nose. Ugh. Ugh. Slime ball. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at for market open. We've got 10 minutes until it opens. We'll chill out until then. Um, hey man. We're making a lot of motion in the crypto space is all I gotta say. Say I didn't tell you it was going to happen, but uh, I told you so is all I'm going to say. In eight or six, seven, nine, zero, twelve. All right. We want to see price move up. We got a whole bunch of imbalances in here. Same with this, for real. Not much going on right now. So NASDAQ took out these lows. Took out this low and took out this low. Um, could cause some wicks up. I do think overall we're still going to be bearish on this. Um, but this will probably cause price to move on up. S&P's yet to take out any of these lows. We took out like short-term lows on the five minute, like right here. Um, but like I was saying before, all of this is just chop, chop, chop. We have the big drop top right up here, which I would like to see filled. Um, 
but also on the 15 minute, we can really see that there's a whole bunch of imbalances everywhere. Um, I would really kind of, I guess, want to find equilibrium off the 15 minute, if that's what we're looking for. It's going to be right tucked in here. Um, and the five minutes showing pretty much what we saw in the one minute, just a whole bunch of chop um, on the one minute to the downside. So we do have this one minute imbalance right here, a big drop. We have another one minute imbalance right here. We have one right here as well, but it's currently getting um, dicked down. Yeah, this is kind of one, this is one, and then this main one all the way up here, which would be awesome if this thing just ripped up and tapped into. S&P is reaching its creepy crawling fingers all the way up into my ass, um, into this 15 minute fair value gap. We close above this fair value gap. We have this one right here on the one minute that does look a little bit enticing. That we actually just tapped our little sack into. Um, so that's great. NASDAQ said we're going up and then we're going right back down. All right, so we highlighted this low. Um, we pushed on all the way up into here. Um, we'll see if we get a breaking structure right here. Honestly, this is the one that I want. We're almost at equilibrium on the 15 minute. Um, looks solid right now. NASDAQ looks like it's coming back up. That could be solid, um, but yeah, really, uh, whoa, not much going on right now. Not much going on right now. All right, um, on the five minute, if we close above this high, then that will pretty much confirm that this is going to be a 15 minute retrace. Um, but we filled in this fair value gap completely actually we have another one that's right here though so this is still valid um we have these lows right now that we're marking um uh that's kind of it for now we hit equilibrium on the 15 minute nasdaq is ripping to the downside right now so if anything that's making me want to sit back pull out my sniper scope and um, pull the trig on uh, one of these S&P plays. And my whole Discord is telling me to say the N-word currently. Um, so I guess if you guys are watching a YouTube video, you guys know what goes down in, in the Discord. Say it. Fine, let me pause the YouTube video and then I'll say it. Hey, so we just broke structure on the one minute. Let's see if we can get a fair value gap, gap filled and ready and locked in on the S&P. That would be amazing because NASDAQ is still holding way underneath these lows and the S&P actually gave us a retrace into these 15 minute fair value gaps, which is awesome. So um, I guess what we're looking for now after this break of structure is just a fair value gap getting filled, reactions off of it, get active, man. Hey, so if we break structure right here and we'll be able to fill form this little fair value gap right here, this could be super solid, all right? It looks like we're going to for sure break structure on the one minute. So we broke structure. Um, now we're just looking for a fair value gap to get filled, okay? Um, and then we can get nice and active on this. All right. Looks like a super solid day. Super great setup so far. Um, looks looks a, looks like a, a good setup overall. I, I'm liking it. All right, so yo, we just filled in 
We just filled in this fair value gap. If we can get this reaction, I'm good to take this. I would go like this, stops above here. Let's see if we can get this. Looks like we're going to get this closed. We didn't close above here, so that's perfect. We filled this in a bit. Awesome, I'm going to short the S&P right now. Stops above these highs all the way up here. First take profit will just be a one to one at this um, hourly low right here. And then from there, we do have this fair value gap right here. I'm just gonna find a 50% mark of that. Put that in green. And then we'll go ahead and do the, the this, this. Cool. Bunch of good areas. We'll see how this rocks. We're sitting pretty good right now. If we can break under this price point, we're smacking that shit. We broke underneath this price point. Let's see if we can close underneath here. It's looking pretty good for us right now. We're sitting deep in profit. Big ass dick to the downside right now. Big ass dick to the downside. Let's get ready to close some out. Um, let's get ready as we seek out this liquidity down here. Let's see, let's see. All right, I'm going to close um, half of my position right here. Said and done. I'm going to close a little bit more of my position. We just hit two take profits. We're going crazy. Pretty solid. All right, make sure your stop is at break even. We have um, TP3, TP4. We got a bunch of action down here. Um, drop a fucking dubski in the chat for me, bruh. Did we not just smack the fuck out of a take profit? Smack that shit. My. Uh, like RP Nip. So, hey, bro. Solid ass Monday, boys. Solid ass Monday. Solid as Monday, bro. Living this it on my hip. Whoa! TP3 is about to get smacked as well, boys. Let's see what we're smacking for. Let's see what we're smacking for. Let's try and hit it. Hey. Hey. Oh. Smack that shit. Smack that shit. Smack that shit, man. Yeah. Hey, bro, we're already. I'm already up big time today. I'm already up big time today. Twenty nine bandos secured. I did secure some profit prematurely down here, as if TP three had already been hit. But it looks like it's about to get hit off this next candle or on this candle. Fucking great work. It looks like, yeah, it looks like this TP is going to get hit real soon. Um, yep, TP3 just got hit, boys. TP3 just got hit. Let's fucking go, boys. Fucking work. Let's fucking work. All right, we got some some way lower TPs all the way down here, all right? We're falling out of the sky right now with this hourly 
candle. We have another draw right here. We have another one right here. Y'all see this? Y'all see the chart, bro? <laughs> you said you feel bad because I'm gonna have to pay you from your funded. I don't give a fuck, bro. Get your bread, bro. That's what it's there for. Like I said, man, y'all think y'all think it's doing me a disservice of paying y'all out. It's not. Anyways, we're up big time on this, man. Bomb-ass trade so far, boys. Bomb-ass trade. You're up 2,000? Hell yeah. Boys, so I leave for Miami today. Um, so you'll see me in a different background tomorrow. Um, and with that being said, we're, we're heat seeking out TP4 right now. I'm going to set my alerts and I'm going to have to wish you guys well on your day. I need to pack. I need to make a couple YouTube videos, um, and get shit rolling for my trip. Um, so I'm headed out. We hit three TPs already, bro. Market just fucking opened, killed the shit. Um, all y'all got breaded. I got breaded. We got stops at break even. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace the fuck out, boys.